You gonna help me film? Oh, just belly rubs. Just getting my desk all set up for today's video. I don't think I've ever shown you the background of everything that goes on here though. So here are the lights, here's the camera, backdrop, and then this is the mess that I deal with every single time I have to record and clean off. And this is the other half of this room because in August, I'll be sharing a space with my new daughter. I'm sure that will go great, but let's look at some of these camera bags. Okay, so I do have a problem. I kind of collect camera bags for what it's worth. I'm sure it drives my wife crazy, but like everything else, they get stuffed back in the guest closet. So it's not like I have one of those really cool setups like a Peter McKinnon or someone else where I have this crazy gear cage, but I have all my bags lined up here. And while in quarantine and organizing all of this stuff, I got to thinking which one of these is my favorite camera bag and I went through each one and I remembered some of the trips that I had been on with each one and it just really got me thinking about different uses for camera bags and what I think people need to think about with the best camera bag for them. So is this video is really going to be looking at each use of each camera bag and how you need to think about packing your gear before you actually get out into the field and shoot. So let's pull each one of these down and see about what they give you. Which bag should we start out with first? All these bags, I think I've made a review for, except for the last two that we're gonna go over, the Kelty backpacking bag, and then I also have a Mountain Smith bag that I use sometimes that I'll show you guys at the end. Let's look at this bag first. This is the Mindshift Gear Backlight Elite 45 liter bag. And this is a good bag. I use this a lot when I went to Toronto for just travel photography and I just walked around the city for a while. I had this bag on me the entire time and it's really a good bag. I think this is the best bag if you are doing something like travel photography or street photography. Number one, when I do go on trips and I am carrying a bag like this, I like to keep a very low profile. You know, a bag like the F-stop that we're gonna get to in a second is pretty bright and loud, so I don't always use that one when I do travel, especially for travel photography and different countries because it is so bright. This one's dark gray, it doesn't draw a lot of attention. It's big, but it's still compact and fits well into overheads in aircraft. So I like this one a lot. It's very well padded. You can fit a lot of gear in here. If you want the full review on this bag, you can click or tap the card coming up on your screen right now. But the reason that I do like this bag is that it's so versatile. If you wanted to shoot landscapes and take this bag hiking, you could do that too. I just like using this one as mainly a travel bag that I carry with me. It has good front access to a laptop where you can easily get it out of the front in airport security. It has back access to all the gear. I do wish that it had another access, like a side access or an easier top access to everything, but you can't always get everything you want out of a camera bag. There's no perfect camera bag that you can get. And let me just say, none of these bags are sponsorships here. They didn't pay me to do this video. I'm doing a lot of different bag companies, so this is a very like unbiased video on what I use all these bags for. I just thought this would be a cool way to show you the gear that I use to carry my gear whenever I do go out into the field. So 
This is a good bag, a little less expensive. Downside, the straps are a little uncomfortable. I know they're very padded and they have this nice little silicone weave pattern built into them to wick away air and moisture and all that good stuff. But carrying it around for so long, it was a little bit uncomfortable. Let's stick with the Mindshift theme here. This is the Photocross 13 pack. This is a little sport bag and I do use this quite often actually. If I'm going to work in a coffee shop and I want to carry some of my gear there, I will use this bag. It has really good, easy, accessible side access, which is what I like when I do go like to a coffee shop and I do want my gear to be secure. It has a nice laptop sleeve in here, can probably fit one camera, two lenses, maybe two camera bodies and two lenses max in here. It's a really good day hike bag. I'll use this if I am going to scout locations sometimes and I know I'm not really gonna shoot all that much. But typically this is a really good like smaller everyday bag that you can use. If you want the full review on this bag, you can click or tap the card showing up on your screen right now. But this would be a great one to use if you like to bike around, if you are going on a day hike, if you want a smaller pack to travel with. This is a good one to do and it's a lot cheaper than like the 45 liter that I just showed you guys too and also cheaper than the next bag I'm going to show you as well. So this is the F-Stop Tilopa 50 liter bag and this is honestly my favorite camera bag that I've ever used for going out into the field. It's a little bit dirty. I've roughed it up over the past two years. And I mean, this thing is really durable. This has like the really nice rip stop nylon on the outside. It has tons of buckles that are really durable. You know, I'm infamous for breaking buckles. Let me see if I can find this here. Especially the ones that kind of hang off a little bit like this one slammed it in the car door snapped it right in two but this is the only one that i've broken so far so i can't really say that it does the best job of holding up especially to car doors has a fun little whistle here and then you also do get rear access with this bag and it's really good you can fill a lot of gear in here you can maneuver all this stuff around uh, it's very durable, waterproof with the rain fly on it, or I guess I shouldn't say waterproof. I don't want to put words in their mouth, but I have used this bag in some really rainy conditions and even underneath some waterfalls and all my gear was really good and protected. It also has a little H2O flap right here that you can put a bladder in. And then all the pockets on the outside are really useful. Two out front, two up top and two on the sides where you can fit tripods, snacks, jackets, anything you really want to go out into the field. I take this one when I do go camping for just a couple days and I do want to pack like a tent, a small hammock, something like that, something really lightweight. You know, you can't go really backpacking with this bag with all the gear that you can get into it. But if you are going just like campground camping for the weekend, this is a tremendous bag to use when you are doing something like that, like car camping or anything like that. If you are, however, doing a big backpacking trip, I would recommend a bag ugh, like this. I even think I have more bags stacked into this thing. Let's see. Okay, here's my tent. What else is in here? I have... Here's my water bladder. Let's see what else is in here. This is fun, it's like Christmas. Sleeping pad. Uh, anything else? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. This is a 30 liter waterproof bag. I use this when I go something like doing a project in canoes or kayaks and doing like the more adventurous side of photography or if I am traveling to somewhere where it's notoriously wet and I know they're gonna be taking a lot of my gear out on the tarmac, I'll stick a lot of my gear in here and check this bag because it is extremely durable and I can keep everything inside of it dry or if I know it's gonna be wet, if I'm going to shoot waterfalls, I take this bag with me just in case I need to stash any of my other gear in here to really be sure that it's waterproof. That was a bonus bag.
So this is the backpacking bag that I use. This is a Kelty Coyote 4900. It's honestly like 10 years old, so I don't even know if they make this bag anymore, but I do really like Kelty bags. This is good if you do want to put like a gear insert in here. So let me show you what I mean by that. If I wanted to take out my F-stop insert, bring this out, ah, and put this down in here. I could put this inside of the Kelty bag, stash all of my photography gear in here, and then take it out or easily access it when I want to. However, that's not always the best scenario when you are going backpacking because you don't want to take all of your camera gear. But this is a good one. I think this is 65 or 70 liters, something like that. Not very waterproof. However, you can get rain flies for it. Really good for carrying tripods if you are going long distances and has tons and tons of pockets inside of it. I think these are really good if you're going on like a two week, really good track. If you are traveling for two weeks, you can take this one for all your clothes or just backpacking for maybe four to seven days. This would be the bag that I would go with for that. And instead of taking all of my camera gear with me with backpacking, I'd pack really light, maybe like two camera bodies and two lenses with this. And what I would do with that is, hold on, I'll get the last bag. Uh, okay, I would bring this bag with me as well. And what I would do is pack a little insert to carry all my camera gear. I do this when I do go on long hikes with friends and just want to pack a couple lenses and a couple camera bodies in here. Use that inside of this Mountain Smith lumbar pack. Lumbar pack is a much cooler way of saying a fanny pack because this does strap around your hips and then also has a shoulder strap that you can secure it with. But this is a really fun bag to use, you know, put a couple batteries in here, a couple memory cards, and then put your camera gear down in. You can carry this fanny pack style with the Kelty bag and really get all of your backpacking gear and then a few pieces of your photo and camera gear and this one for easy access. And if you're wondering about water durability, you can get just a cheap rain fly to take in this one, pack it in a pocket, something like that. Those are the bags that I use for all of my traveling, all of my landscape photography, and all different scenarios. My wife, I'm sure, would appreciate your prayers for the space that I'm taking up with all of these.